All right, guys, today we'll be comparing Gemini 3 with ChatGPT 5.1 to see who can code the better Spider-Man game. We're going to be giving each AI 10 minutes to program their game. All right, so we're going to be starting out with Gemini, and let's just think of a simple prompt that can get our game started. I want a 3D Spider-Man. All right, guys, so I am done yapping. I have made the prompt. Basically, it's a very, very simple Spider-Man game that can be played in the browser. I specified I wanted 3D in third person. And I'm, as soon as I send this, we're going to begin the timer. And so it begins. First, Gemini gave us a quick overview of how the game will work. This is how we move. We're going to be using the simple WASD space triple jump right click this is how we punch this is our web pool and we have green goblin doc ock venom and electro i think that's a good amount of enemies and we wait for the city to generate you use the controls on the bottom left and defeat all four villains roaming the city so that's our goal all right we will see how this goes i will see you guys when we're back a few lines of code later Right. It seems to be done. Let's try it out. And I'm already getting a t what the heck? So, as you guys can see, this game is not too good. I'm be instantly being killed, and I can't even fight back. So let's immediately fix this. Gemini. I cannot move. I was also instantly killed by the enemies. Make it so that they do not kill me so fast. And make sure I can move and web swing. A few lines of code later. Alright, so apparently Gemini has fixed it. Let's take a look. And I... Okay, I can move. I can move. I can move. Look, look, look. That's an improvement. That's an improve. Why is this guy following me like this? What the heck? Maybe I have to... Man, this is crazy. So I'm not web swinging. It's not even letting me jump. Um, I'm really just having to run here. Uh, help! <laughs> Someone help! I'm left clicking and nothing is happening. And I've literally died. And for some reason... Okay, so they actually are taking damage. They are taking damage. Okay, I've actually killed them. So the major issue is I the camera perspective does not move. So that kind of makes web swinging difficult. And that kind of makes it hard to even test anything else out, you know? So we're going to definitely have to speak with Gemini about these things. Because this is very hard to play currently. I can't triple jump. Let alone jump. And the camera perspective is stuck. I need to be able to move so I can shoot my webs wherever I want I also cannot use it. I also want an animation so it is clear the enemies are taking damage. So hopefully Gemini fixes this, but that was a lot better compared to the first one. I mean, I literally instantly died in the first one. I was attacked from every angle and killed. A lot of lines of code later. All right, it is done. Let's see how it came out. Click to start. Okay. I'm definitely, sh I'm okay, I can move a lot more. I can also web swing. The web swinging mechanic isn't great, but it, it, it's working. I'm going beneath the map, but the, the mechanics are definitely working. It, it's definitely better than before. Let's test out the sprint feature. Okay, the sprint feature is working. I can jump maybe a little too high, but I can definitely jump. Now let's try attacking the enemies. Ooh, gotta dodge that. Okay, that's actually shooting pretty nice. Okay. Oh, I'm actually, I'm actually getting beat up, guys. Okay, okay, I can pull enemies. I can pull enemies. And it seems, if once I attack them, they turn white. Oh, no. And I actually do die. Okay, so, it didn't do terrible. It did not do terrible. I'm not, I'm not too, I'm not too upset with how this came out. I am not too upset with how this came out. Chat, um, Gemini only has... 140 left so let's see if we can finish this up a few lines of code later all right guys so this was the final prompt i put in 
Gemini still coding with only 13 seconds left. Let's see how it turns out. Now, no matter what, I'm going to play the final version, even if it runs out of time. But no more prompts after this. So whatever it puts out, that's what we're comparing against ChatGPT. All right, that's time. Let's see how Gemini did. I'm a bit worried, but I, I think it did all right. All right, let's take a look at how Gemini 3 did. So off the rip, I do like the movement. It is nice. Jumping is pretty good as our enemy, our first enemy. Okay, the jumping even in combat works well. I like that. So far, I didn't do bad. I don't like that they can turn completely white though, but I did ask it for an animation. It makes it clear that they got hit, so I'm not too upset. Okay, we defeated one enemy. Fighting this flying guy is a little bit more challenging though. Green Goblin here, a little bit more challenging. Err. There we go. Okay, so the projectiles definitely make it easier. I don't like that they don't fall to the ground, but hey, it's only been 10. This game was coded in 10 minutes, so I'm not too upset. Overall, it's not bad though. It's so Green Goblin is almost out. He's almost out. And we've killed Green Goblin with only one left. Let's just punch him, punch him, punch him. And man, I, I mean, we killed all the enemies. That worked out. Let's test the web swinging. It's not perfect. The issue with the web swing is I keep coming down to the ground. But it's all right. It's all right. It's not, it's not terrible. But yeah, that, that's a major issue. That If I had more than 10 minutes, we would have been able to fix it. So I'm definitely going to include more than 10 minutes in our next videos. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, please consider subscribing and liking and hyping the video. Hyping the video really helps out. Thank you so much, guys. But overall, this was not a bad game and Gemini 3 did not do bad. I mean, I look like Spider-Man. There's a bunch of cool features. I actually fought the Sinister Six without much glitches. And yeah, to only do this in like less than five prompts in less than... Actually, not less than 10 minutes a little over 10 minutes is quite impressive and i really feel like it could have fixed a lot of these things if it had more time um another major issue is that i do go through buildings that is not good but overall um gemini did pretty good gemini definitely did pretty good for the resources was given and the time it was given all right guys so it is now chat gpt's turn i have copy paste the exact same prompt we're only going to be giving it 10 minutes let's begin all right so ChatGPT is already going through its reasoning it's it's i actually really like how it's like thinking like not thinking like a human but man it's it's close this avoids over complicated like it's really thinking about it and it's already began coding i like how it reasons first plans out what it's going to do it doesn't just jump into just coding anything and it's used up a minute of its time. And it's actually gotten a, a good amount of code done. And man, just the, like the, how fast AI codes. I, I, I've seen it several times, but it still wows me from time to time. I mean, I really wonder what is AI's work like WPM? What is the words per minute of AI? Too many lines of code later. All right, guys, I am back. And this is crazy. All right, so. This was supposed to be a normal video where I compared the two, but ChatGPT was literally incapable of running the game. I mean, every time I would run the game, it was either white completely or the game actually said 3.js did not load. Check your internet, even though it worked for Gemini. And this was literally ruining the video. I had to pause the timer because I didn't want to give you guys just nothing and say, oh, the ChatGPT couldn't generate it. So, okay, I powered through, I powered through, and I kept trying to work with ChatGPT. I asked it so many times to fix this in different ways. Please do this, do that. And nothing was working. So at some point, I gave the code to Gemini. I, I, I gave ChatGPT's code to Gemini. The exact same bug appeared. I told it, it said it did not load. Can you fix the code? And I want to show you guys. Because this is crazy. I feel like this makes Gemini the instant winner. So, Gemini actually run, fixes ChatGPT's code, makes it work, 
and we actually see what chat gpt generated and it's terrible it, it is nothing compared to what gemini 3 generated at all let's try the web pool nothing is working in this game i'm punching i was knocked out what this is terrible I'm going to give ChatGPT its own code that another AI had to fix. Keep that in mind, guys. Another AI had to fix this code. And I'm going to tell it the game is not working. There are no buildings. And the timer is almost irrelevant at this point. I will start it again. But I want to keep tell you guys, it took around 20 minutes for ChatGPT to fail to debug this game, I had to give it to Gemini for Gemini 3 to debug it in around, I don't know, 20 seconds? I'm I'm just saying, guys. I, do, do I really even have to do the game? I will do ChatGPT's version of the game, but I feel like that already proves who the winner is. There are no buildings. The enemies don't die. And... I cannot web swing at all, nor pull enemies in. Fix this. Let's see if ChatGPT can even fix this or if it's just gonna mess up again. And I'm gonna rest I'm not even gonna restart the time. I'm gonna start the timer again. I'm not giving you 10 minutes. You you already failed. I'm already ex extremely upset at you, ChatGPT. So let's try this again. A few lines of code later. Alright, guys, so ChatGPT is back and it is still quite terrible. Um, well, actually, the web swinging is... Okay, I'm off the map. Great. So, first of all, I am way too close. And it's not third person, really. And these people, why are they following me like this? Can I even beat them up? What the heck is going on? <laughs> so, this was the last prompt I gave ChatGPT. And with 47 seconds on the clock... All right, guys, so this is ChatGPT's attempt. It's its very last attempt. And so far, I already noticed that the uh, third per 3D perspective is a lot better. I don't like how they're just following me like some stupid bots, but it's not terrible, I guess. It is working. It is still a little too close, and it's far inferior to Gemini 3, if I'm being honest. But let me just try to fight some of them. So the web mechanics are actually working pretty well. And I will be honest, I actually kind of prefer these web mechanics to um, Gemini 3s, surprisingly enough. But the, actually, I don't know because it's not going where I'm telling it to go. Like, you see how I'm clicking and it's literally taking me the opposite direction? So I don't know how I feel about that. I'm definitely not a fan of that. Let me see. Punch, miss, get closer. Okay, let's try to actually punch them. So it actually seems like the punching mechanics are actually working pretty well. So Gemini did not do terribly. So we're going to press R to reset and we're going to tr actually try out the, um, okay. I pressed R to reset and the enemies did not respond. So that's already a deduction, but you know what? I'm going to say if you had more time, you maybe would have did better. So I actually do like how the punches look and I'm just going to try to test the web pulling mechanic so the web the uh, web um, pulling mechanic isn't bad the web swing also isn't terrible i do wish it was a bit more accurate but maybe um it could do better the running is pretty good overall this actually isn't that terribly i didn't like that um it had to rely on gemini to fix it but i'm not too i'm not too disappointed honestly it's i still think Gemini is a bit better, but it does do some things better than Gemini. I have to be honest. I do like the animation for punching a little bit more. I do like the web swinging mechanics a bit more. Um, but yeah, there are still some things to change. I also kind of, I think I like the sprite for Spider-Man a bit more as well. So overall, it's not terrible. It definitely could be a lot better, but I'm I'm not too upset. So guys, that was Chat GPT versus Gemini encoding Spider-Man. I hope you guys enjoyed and please comment who you think won. I personally think Gemini won, but you guys may think Chat GPT did better. Let me hear it, guys. Have a great day.